and welcome to Natalie Looks Back at Summer in the City 2017. I was sucked into the black hole that is YouTube in early 2011 with the Charlie is So Cool White classic, How to Speak English. What English words do you already know? Bollocks. So going to Summer in the City almost seven years later was a bit surreal. Sure, the meet and greet dynamic of a lot of YouTube events isn't ideal, and there were times when I got a bit overwhelmed with almost constantly socializing and felt like I was going to die from running on two hours of sleep, but it was an experience I'll never forget. Part of what I love most about YouTube is hearing people's different views and perspectives on things. Hello, we are watching Natalie's vlog. YouTube allows me to expand my mind in the same way a good discussion does, except without the response bit. I would love to go back in time to 2011 before YouTube really blew up, when viewers and creators could sit down in a field and just talk about whatever interested them. But of course, with how big YouTube has gotten, it would be nearly impossible to have that kind of personal experience today. I'm so happy I'm able to share my love of YouTube with so many, but I mourn for the days when this small bubble on the internet felt more personal and like a community rather than a business. But that's not really what this video is about. Summer in the City felt too important for me to turn into just another vlog, so I thought I'd turn the video into a bit of a reflection on creativity, growing up, and just me being a sap. I've always been a creative person. When I was little and adults would ask me what I wanted to be when I grew up, the first things I remember saying are musician or actress. As insecurities and stage fright kicked in, I pushed those dreams aside and redirected my time towards drawing and painting. Discovering YouTube opened up a whole new world of possibilities. My perspective was expanded from the singular culture and accompanying issues of the Seattle area to those of the whole world. I learned from these people whose experiences vastly differed from my own and found others who were young, creative, and just a little eccentric in a way that made me feel a little less alone. I watched these people flourish, doing hobbies that had previously seemed unattainable to me. Yeah, I'm sick of losing won't be alone again. I can finally see you're as fucked up as me, so how to be Filmmaking, digital art, music, makeup, animation, design, writing, the list goes on. And my perspective shifted. Suddenly, I felt as if these seemingly monumental pursuits were something a little socially awkward kid like myself could actually do. That's one of the main reasons why I love YouTube. Seeing everyday people create extraordinary content is wildly inspiring. Yet, I still feel a bit ridiculous whenever I talk about how important YouTube is to me. It's often hard to remember why I make videos in the first place, when so often all I see are people thriving off of drama and exploiting their audiences for money and fame. Those opposing perspectives, combined with a crippling lack of confidence in my ability to create, have prevented me from freeing my creativity and making the stuff I know I can and want to make. Going to summer in the city helped remind me why I want to make videos. It reminded me why allowing myself to fail is important. Going to panels on filmmaking, writing, and the creator-viewer divide, and chatting with some people whose art inspires me to create, reminded me why I love this community so much. I left Sitsi with a renewed passion for video making. I long to create with every fiber of my being, and I never want to let my fear of what others might think stop me from doing what I love. I know YouTube culture isn't perfect, I've been here long enough to see its flaws, but I'm really glad I went to Summer in the City. It was exactly what I needed to kickstart my love of creating again. My old band director used to say that there's no use in playing cautiously. Play loudly and with confidence, he said. I'd rather have you play big and fail than never hear you at all. 
I want to learn to play big, and I hope to take you along for the journey. Thank you.